As the world goes digital, every industry is fully integrating and transitioning to technology, even the oldest profession in the world. And according to industry reports from sources like Statistia and IBIS World, the adult webcam industry is booming with an estimated annual revenue of $2 to $3 billion worldwide. And company reports from major campsites reveal that staggering numbers with millions of daily visitors with thousands of models online at any given time. Now, these numbers blew me away because of how predominant this online space is, yet no one speaks on this. And this is the thing that millions of men do secretly behind closed doors. Now, the reason why I'm putting myself on camera and speaking on this is to help the millions of men struggling with cam sites as a vice or even an addiction. So stick with me to the end of this video because you'll learn how destructive campsites are and how to actually quit. Now let's dive in. So if you're new to my channel, I'm Coach Josh, founder of Purpose Over Pleasure, and it is my purpose to help men achieve freedom from their sexual vices so they can live a happier and healthier life. Now the reason why campsites are so popular is because of one word, accessibility. Because with the click of one button and a quick charge to your credit card, you can get exactly what you want. You can see a hot girl do whatever you tell her to do and even feel this sense of intimacy with that woman. And this takes all of the work out of the equation. It's literally as easy, spend money, get girl. And let's just focus on that for one second because that accessibility is exactly why campsites are a multi-billion dollar industry. The reason why this industry is profiting millions of dollars each and every day like clockwork comes down to their offer. Their offer is so good it makes me cry because their offer is, hey, are you a man and want to see a hot girl do whatever you want without even having to get out of your own chair to go and speak with the woman and you want it right now? Like that is almost a no brainer because men can get all of their sexual desires fulfilled and there's no time delay or no effort on their end. All the man has to do is just keep paying for the model's services. And that right there is obviously a very attractive reason to go and see these campsites and go to purchase their services, but it's also the biggest reason why campsites are straight up ruining men's lives. It's just straight up due to that accessibility. It's, it's not healthy, it's not natural. You know, what they're selling is a drug. Because normally, if you wanna have sex with a woman or get intimacy from her, you have to put in some work. It just comes with the territory. Like you have to build yourself up as a man so you can actually be worthy of attracting and keeping a quality woman. But instead of actually needing to do any of that, instead of actually having to improve yourself or put in any of that work to go and date a quality woman or to you know fix your marriage to rekindle the fire, Men are just more comfortable to go and get their sexual needs met secretly online on these campsites. And instead of making the necessary changes within their own life to cut this out, you know, and, and not have to rely on this escape, the campsites incentivize them to continue to chase that greatest chemical high that your body can naturally produce within that sexual release for literally zero effort. And it just your body's gonna take the path of least resistance. And that's when men get addicted because why would you ever desire to even put in the work to change your life when you can get that short-term instant gratification just a couple clicks away? And this is where men start to see the self-destructive side effects to these campsites and purchasing these services because not only are they gonna be start to spend a lot of money on these campsites by racking up hundreds and if not thousands on these websites, but they feel less fulfilled than they did beforehand, thus giving them a need for more escapes. You know, the novelty of the entire thing like, is just not the same as it used to be. So they're gonna to go to further and further and further extremes just to get the same pleasure, just to get the same hit. So now they're gonna be spending you know, more money on these private sessions where they can turn on the camera or you know, have more of a one-to-one. -one. But at the end of it, they're just gonna get hit with that post-nut clarity, leaving them more depressed. 
you know, more lonely, more isolated, you know, regretting spending hundreds on a session that really didn't give them any sense of fulfillment. It was all short-term gratification. And on top of everything, a damaged self-esteem that will not recover as long as this behavior continues. The problem is, when you engage in this kind of behavior and you go on these websites, whether you know it or not, it lowers your self-esteem. Because every time you open that browser, you are escaping something that is going on inside of your life. You could be experiencing a pain of a, a sexless marriage, a terrible dating life, you know, stress from work or any isolation or loneliness that you might feel. And you are trying to deal with that. You're trying to get some pleasure, make yourself feel better and get relief from that pain. And by no means do guys want to be doing this. By no means do guys want to be going online to pay for sexual services. Every single man knows that's pathetic. And to prove this right now, if I were to ask you what your ideal life would look like, there would be zero mention of any cam sites. And I'd be willing to bet that your ideal life would look a lot different than it is now, maybe with better relationships. And acting out on these cam sites just reinforces that you're not where you want to be in life. And you're dependent on a sexual escape to make yourself feel better now. So if you are someone who is struggling with these campsites, first off, I just want to say you're not the only one. There's millions of men that are struggling with this each and every day. But understand that it is an uphill battle because you've conditioned yourself to seek these campsites, you know, and you're going to want to go and do it again. That desire to act out will be there. And if you're going to pair that with the accessibility of these sites, you're going to need a strong game plan to stay clean. And it needs to be actionable and something that you can actually deploy, especially when you feel tempted. Because only trying to use willpower simply will not work. So if you want to learn an actionable game plan on how to quit campsites, I've laid out a free guide down below in the step-by-step -step free course and community below. And in there, you'll learn all of the prevention strategies that you'll need to be able to get rid of this vice. But if you want more one-to-one -one support and you're aligned with this message and you're ready to finally quit these sexual vices and eliminate these campsites, you can have a, a better life. What I would advise you to do is just go down below to the link and book a call with me personally so we can see if you're a good fit for the Recovery Blueprint program so you can achieve freedom from all of these sexual vices. And with that said, fellas, stay off these sites. It's not what you really want. And subscribe to the movement of men willing to conquer these vices in order to live a happier and healthier life. Peace.